Hello. This video show show the problem with the filter in uh, Cherry Audio 2600 emulation. I will compare it with the Time Warp emulation and the Arturia emulation, which emulate the same uh, instrument. Now, I feed a an impulse into the filter directly. So that means uh, I have a little uh, impulse set up in, in the Bitwig Brit. This will go into the emulation and uh, directly into the filter. I prepared the filter in a way that I just move the resonance up and you, s you will see how it sounds if I play a note on the keyboard which triggers that impulse and I want a filter to ring out in its uh, resonance frequency. So this is simply the impulse directly into the filter, no resonance. If I move the resonance up Here we get the, just before we ar arrive at the stage where it would self-oscillate, we get this type of sound. Now let's switch to the ARP, uh, to the Arturia. very close to the self-oscillation, it will still ring out. That means, you see, the pitch is going down. After a while, it will just fade out. And now let's see how the cherry audio reacts. If I'm just it's not ringing out it's as soon no matter where it is I I move the resonance now around 73% you will see I'll make this smaller that it stays there it's self resonating on a low volume if I push the resonance up, the volume is just going up. An analog filter would either uh, self-oscillate, so it would be a high volume as soon as it's reaching that, or it would ring out if the resonance is not in the self-oscillating state. This one doesn't ring out. It just stays where it is. So it's really acting as if it's just faded in. I don't need to touch anything, and if I listen to the re, uh, to the rest of the signal, if I give the impulse in, there's not much change in the sound either. So that shows use your ears, and not necessarily a steady signal to test this. An impulse is better to show that this is not a filter ringing. It's, I don't know what it is.